here from CLPL Zoo Department. Today we are going to create our own DIY photo holder. For our project, we will need rocks, you can just collect these outside, crafting wire, you can get copper wire or floral wire, acrylic paints in the colors of your choice, wax paper is helpful to paint your rocks on, Mod Podge, or you can create your own Mod Podge by mixing some school glue with some water in a bowl. Paint brushes, I find these very helpful when I'm putting the Mod Podge on and when I am going to put the white coat on my rocks. You can also use other things for painting. I have different size paint brushes and I did use some Q-tips on the one that I created here. You're going to need, if you have the copper wire, you're going to need some wire cutters and some small pliers, needle nose. You're also going to need a pen or a pencil to wrap the wire at the top to make your loop. And you'll need some beads in whatever colors that you would like to use. Covering your work surface is also a good idea since we're going to be using some Mod Podge and some paint. After you've gathered all of your supplies, we can get started. You're going to start by washing your rocks and making sure that you've gotten all of the dirt off as best you can and then you will base coat your rocks. I am going to base coat this one dark blue and I'm just going to pour it right over. I have the wax paper underneath to protect my surface and then I'm just going to Make sure it's well covered with paint. Making sure I'm filling in all of my crevices. After it is all base coated, I will let it dry. And after it has dried for maybe 20 minutes or so, then I can start working on my design. And then I have already base coated this one in white and it's all dry and ready to go. So I'm going to put a design on this one. I'm just going to make a palette of paint in the colors that I think I want to use right on my wax paper. You can also use a paper plate to make a palette if you would like. And for this rock, I'm going to make some flowers and I'm just going to use a Q-tip to dip into my red and make some dots. And then just using a small brush, I'm going to add some green for some leaves. I'm happy with that design so now I'm just going to let that dry 
probably for about 25 to 30 minutes. And then after that's dry, we can Mod Podge it. While my red flowers are still drying, I'm going to show you how to Mod Podge on a rock that I painted a little bit earlier. And this is all dry. I've only painted the top. I did not paint the bottom. Bottom isn't all that pretty, but that's okay. We're not going to see that. I'm going to use regular Mod Podge. You want to have a well ventilated area if you're going to use regular Mod Podge because it is kind of strong. I'm just going to dip my brush right in and then I'm going to coat my rock all the way around to seal it. Once you have sealed your rock all the way around, making sure you hit as much of it as you can, that needs to dry as well. Mod Podge takes a little bit longer to dry, so probably about an hour before we can do the next step. I had Mod Podged in a rock earlier, so this is dry and ready to go. The next step is to wrap the copper wire around the rock and secure it. This is probably the trickiest part for me to be able to do. Um, we're going to unravel the copper wire. Be careful because this part is very sharp. You'll probably need an adult to help you with this. And you want a good length of the wire. And then we're going to snip it. Right off. And then I take this end and reattach it so it doesn't unwind. Set that to the side. Now with this part, we are going to wrap our rock. And then we're going to secure it here. Winding around. And this is where we need our needle nose pliers. Gonna grab it there and then we're just gonna kind of twist our rock you don't want to go too tight because we don't want our wire to break but we do want that little guy right there secure so you can see he's no longer sticking out and the wire will stay on. And then we're going to kind of straighten it. And then we're going to start beading along here. I am going to clip off a little bit of the top because this is really, really long right now. Okay, so the wire is all attached. I've trimmed it a little bit so it's a little bit shorter. And then I'm going to just start using some beads. I've laid some out that I think I want to use. And I'm just going to start stringing the beads.
and I think that is how I want it. So now I am going to use my pen and I'm going to twist the top around my pen three times. And then I'm going to clip my wire right there. And then I have a part sticking out there that I am just going to curl around and squeeze in very carefully. Again, an adult can help with this part. to help with that sharp edge. And then I'm going to kind of squeeze this tight. And there is my photo holder. And that is your finished photo holder. Have fun making these and check out Creative Bug for some more crafting ideas. See you next time.